हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नाइटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ईएक्सआई एंड सीआई पार्ट 5 इन व्हिच वी विल टॉक अबाउट कार्बन इंटेंसिटी इंडिकेटर व्हाट इज द सीआईआई इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल सी इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट कैटेगरी एंड व्हाई दिस सीआईआई केम एंड how the ratings are done in our next video we will talk about how the ci calculation is done so please tune till last i guarantee you will gain a lot friend marine engineering hub is a platform in which we make videos which are beneficial for the student for the examination purpose and also for the ship related service so many of you watch the video and get benefited please encourage us by at least subscribing us please subscribe and encourage us so that we can continue to make the video friends who want to clear the exam in quick phase and who want to have a quick chat with me they can join the marine engineering hub platform and have a direct contact with me and clear the doubt so let's start the today video so what is a carbon intensity indicator what is a cii so cii is basically is a operational indic operational approach to reduce the co2 emission it is basically cii talks about the operational performance of the existing ship and exi talks about the technical performance of the existing ship so these two difference should be very much clear in your mind that EEXI is a one time certification means it is a modification or a changes which are done on the ship one time to improve the CO2 emission but CII is a operational performance indicator which is basically enhancing the CO2 emission reducing the CO2 emission by enhancing the performance of ship on a an annual basis so CII is basically valid or applicable to the ship which are 5000 GT and their fuel collection data will be collected and based on their CO2 emission they will be given category from A to E A B C D to E A B C is normal and d and e is not normal so if you are getting in a category of d and e you have to do a corrective action and if you are falling in category a and b you will get in a incentive what corrective action i mean to say corrective action it means that you are doing something wrong for which your carbon emission is getting more which is not acceptable so you need to adjust or need to improve your co2 emission so how you can improve it you can improve it by ship speed optimization weather routing just in time arrival trim draft and ballast optimization these are all the way by which you can improve the co2 emission and performance of a ship so basically it will enter into effect from 1st january 2023 so this should be very much clear that the cii value will change over a period of time but exi is based on the year of the ship okay so now this i have already explained in my earlier video please watch i will give in the description box exi so now this chart basically tells everything about cii so in cii we are rating a ship based on the co2 emission or performance or present performance based on that we are rating from a to e a b c is a compliant if your ship is falling in a category a b and c your ship is compliant with the cii but if your ship is falling in a d and e category in that case you have to submit a corrective action plan now if your ship is falling in a category 3 d for a continuous 3 year period in that case 
in the third year you have to submit a corrective action plan that what changes or what thing you are going to do to improve your operational performance in the next year and if the changes is okay then it will be approved but if your ship is getting a e category in that case in one year you have to submit a corrective action plan now the question is asked that why sudden all this e e x i c i i so it is because of the imo goal to cut out the greenhouse gas emission by half at least by 2050 and the base data is compared to the 2008 so compared to the 2008 imo want to reduce the greenhouse gas emission by 50% and they want to achieve zero emission by the end of the century for that reason all this thing is coming cii and exi is the one of the short term measure of 2030 CII is calculated not for the entire fleet it is calculated for the individual ship so CII and EXI is calculated for an individual ship okay and the CII was adopted in MEPC 76 in 2021 and further guidelines were provided in MEPC 78 okay and ship share a total global emission of CO2 in 2018 was 2.89% okay So as I have told you, if you are falling in a category E, then you must improve to C by submitting the corrective action plan. But if you are falling in category D, then you will get a period of three year time, and you just must improve to at least C. Okay, and if you are falling in category A and B, then you will get an incentive. Okay, so the CII by formula you can say annual CO two emission by capacity into annual distance travel for cruise and ropex capacity it is gt but for the other ship it is dead weight tonnage okay so the cii emission is based on the optimum speed like eco speed if a ship is working on a eco speed in that case the co2 emission will be optimum so like here you can see there is a four ship it is a chart of four ship so like four ship like four ship class and my nyk nk irs american bureau shipping all are providing assessment to help the their class of the ship to implement the cii what they will do they will carry out the check they will prepare the plan they will see the changes which need to be done so that they can have a improvement so that their ship can fall in the category a b and c so if anybody asks you what is an carbon intensity indicator so you can say the carbon intensity indicator determine the annual reduction factor need to ensure for the continuous improvement of a ship operational carbon intensity with the specific rating level so what is cii it is a annual reduction factor which need to ensure the continuous improvement of a ship operational carbon intensity okay the actual annual operational cii achieved must be documented and verified against the required operational cii okay so as you can see this is the five category They basically name as major superior, minor superior, moderate, minor inferior, and inferior from A to E. A is the best. Okay, and if you are complying with the CII, then you will get a SOC along with the DCS. Okay, in the DCS, it will measure that whether your ship is compliant with CII or or not. Okay, and you will be subjected to a audit. along with the imo dcs every year a ship when rating d for a three consecutive year or e for one year have to submit a corrective action plan and have to show how their required c index of c or above will be achieved administration port authority and the other stakeholder as appropriate are encouraged to provide incentive to ship as a or b so friend in today video we have learned that how the ship is 
done the rating how the rating is done in a ship which is a to e how it is done we'll talk about in the other video the rating are done from a to e that we know what are the name that we come to know in today video what will be issued if you are complying with the cii you will be given a soc so what is the carbon intensity ind indicator for the examination purpose please remember this three line after that we know about a quick synopsis that what are all component in the cii what are the different category why it came what optimum ship why optimum ship we need to maintain what is the formula where it is applicable and what class or class provide basically to the different ship what is an exi and what is a cii what is the dif difference and why all this dcs cii is coming they are all coming in order to reduce the greenhouse gas in order to reduce the greenhouse gas because of the imo target of reducing the greenhouse gas by 50 percent by the end of 2050 this short term measure the cii exi came up okay so friend i hope by watching this video you have gained a lot so please please do subscribe before going thank you